Rotator and Valkyrie. Back in season five, they put on an all-time classic. Oh, and now pops Lee and Kuching Spot up onto its heels. It was a three-minute melee, Kenny. Yeah, endless sparks. Oh. Both weapons at full capacity. Both teams refusing to back down. Huge hits. Victor's driving was incredible. Keeping the pressure on. You had Valkyrie ripping off Rotator's armor late in the fight. Pieces of Rotator all over the battle box. Got that one favorited on YouTube. Now, I got it. Back then, Leanne Cushing, not Lucy Dew, was the captain of Valkyrie. But I wouldn't be shocked if we see the same thing here tonight. No question about it. Um, you know, Lucy may not have the experience of Leanne Cushing, but she is getting better with this robot. And for Victor Soto, it's feeling like business as usual. Time and again, Rotator is in the mix, but now I want to see that killer instinct. It's time for Rotator to prove it's a championship level buck. We're ready for a fun one. So are the captains. We fought Valkyrie two years ago, and we had a three minute spark fest, basically. They ripped off our plow and won a, a judge's decision. Very close match. We have a little bit of a chip on our shoulders. We want to come back and beat them. We have a whole new plow redesigned just for Valkyrie, and we can't wait to use it and try it out. We're going to hopefully use the plow to kind of slow them down, pin them against the wall, and then we're going to use our blade to try to aim for the wheels. I know they have some interesting armor configurations as well. We're going to see if we can use a thin blade to slice even easier through the armor and get to the wheels and disable them. In our fight against Ominous, we ended up taking more damage than we initially thought. Um, we thought that we had just bent a blade, but in addition to that, we also bent the weapon shaft. And um, so the team has been working around the clock, trying to turn it around um, so that we're ready to fight Rotator. Rotator is a really formidable opponent, and um, they always hit really hard. They are generally really reliable, so we really have to bring our A game. I think that there's a pretty decent chance that both robots will take a lot of damage, win or lose. I think anytime Valkyrie meets the wedge, there's going to be a lot of sparks. Robots activate. All right, this matchup getting a lot of attention back in the pits. Their first encounter was an instant classic. So how do the builders see this rematch going down? They've got Rotator as a 72% favorite despite losing that first matchup. Does that surprise you? Listen, I get it. In recent seasons, Rotator's been a class above Valkyrie. For this one, the team's added that beefy AR-400 plow to eat up shots. And you heard Victor, he wants to attack Valkyrie's tires with the overcutter, but Valkyrie's blade, New Glory, gives it a big reach advantage. This should be another brawl, Chris. Victor Soto not relying on that wedge as much as I thought he would here. Keeping that blade squared up. Valkyrie not minding, going weapon to weapon. It's that wedge trying to stay away oh. from. Another shot to the side of Valkyrie by Rotator, but look at the follow-up from Lucy Dew. Oh. Goes over Rotator now. This is the aggression we've been waiting to see from Lucy since last season. Man, oh. the energy that these weapons just have. So far, they've been trading jabs, but it feels like any second a nuclear bomb could go off in here. And Chris, that first move shot might be what turns this fight. Now Victor trying to beat that wedge right into the mouth of Valkyrie. You know, there's a certain poetry to each engagement here. The sparks are flying, weapons are humming, two legends going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow for blow. 
Yeah, each driver is carefully trying to find an edge here. They know what happens if they make a mistake. A little bit of separation there. Valkyrie goes in over again. Uh-oh. That was a big piece of Valkyrie that just came off. Yeah, it looks like it lost the armor protecting oh. its left side wheel. Oh! Nasty shot that sends robots in the opposite direction. Rotator having some issue with its left tire. Oh, no question about it. It has been chopped up. And Lucy Dew is right on top of it. Can she put the nail in the coffin? She's just trying to get whatever she can right now. And remember, her left wheel is exposed too. One shot from Rotator could even this back up. Under a minute to go. Oh, who's going to close this out? Oh, look at that. That tire's just shredded, Kenny. Yeah, let's see if Lucy can get around to finish it off. Attacking the other side now, but either way, I love the aggression we've seen from her in this fight. Oh, that's like the third or fourth time we've seen her leapfrog over Rotator. This fight's gonna come down to the wire, Chris, but right now, Rotator's wheel is the big difference. That will score a lot of damage points for Valkyrie. Well, their first fight for World Championship 5 was an instant classic. The sequel's doing it justice. So many punches landed by each robot. 20 seconds to go. And look at this. Lucy is not backing off. Just listen to the sound of that. That plow is about to fall off Rotator, it looks like. Oh, Lucy Dew trying to kill that plow. Can she knock it off before time expires? She cannot. But what a fantastic fight this matchup was the second time around. Everything is now in the hands of the judges. Couldn't get that wheel. Kenny, there is a tremendous amount of filth on the battle box floor. I certainly understand why. These were some tremendous shots back and forth. See Valkyrie riding over the top of Rotator there. Rotator had some nice licks to the front armor on Valkyrie. This was just a brawl here, Chris. There were two massive shots in the middle of this fight that set up an exciting finish. The first one ripped into Valkyrie's armor and left its wheel exposed. The second left Rotator's wheel severely compromised. Yeah, and I didn't think we'd be saying this, but what made the difference down the stretch was Lucy Dew's aggression. With her side exposed, it would have been easy for her to be cautious and let time run out, but she stayed on top of Rotator, targeted Victor's wheel, and did a ton of damage to the plow as well. It's amazing because Rotator's mindset has been all about durability over the years. And here, limping around with a gash in the wheel, let's find out who's moving on. Baruch. The results from the judges are in. The winner by unanimous decision is...